Location, location, location. Thanks mostly to geography, hurricanes rarely hit Hawaii. These tiny islands sit practically in the middle of Earth's largest ocean. The state of Hawaii certainly benefits from being a relatively small target in the vast Pacific Ocean, but they're at just the right latitude such that most strong hurricanes in the Central Pacific have passed by to their south or have weakened in the cooler waters to their north and east. In almost 70 years, only 19 hurricanes have passed within 200 miles of the Big Island, Maui, Oahu, or Kauai. But when El Nino causes Central Pacific Ocean waters to warm up, that relatively low activity can change. Historically, El Nino years ramp up the hurricane threat for Hawaii because of the warmer than average waters in the central and eastern Pacific. And we've had past El Nino years with multiple major hurricanes passing close to the islands. One of these days, one of those major hurricanes is again going to make a direct hit. In 1992, El Nino helped fuel the strongest Hawaiian hurricane in recorded history. Category 4 Iniki hit the island of Kauai on September 11th. Its winds reached 145 miles per hour. Seven people died, and damage was estimated at more than $2 billion. But both of Hawaii's recent near misses happened without El Nino. In August 2018, Category 5 Hurricane Lane became Hawaii's biggest threat since Iniki. But Lane dramatically weakened as it turned north toward the islands. Then it turned again, almost due west, sparing the islands a direct hit. But even from 150 miles away, the storm is Hawaii's wettest on record. An amazing 58 inches, nearly five feet, fell on Mauna Loa's eastern slopes. Then in July 2020, Category 4 Hurricane Douglas got everyone's attention. Now's the time to do your final preparations. But Douglas also weakened before passing just 30 miles north of Oahu as a Category 1. Sooner or later, the Aloha State's luck will run out. So even this paradise of the Pacific must stay prepared for the next hurricane threat.